In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a bulb infographic slide with six options. So this is how the slide works. As you can see here, this is the light bulb which I've downloaded from the internet. And when I click, it lights up and then you can add the title and then some uh, oval shape here. When I click, it will show you the first option with the icon and the detailed text. When I click, it will show me the second option. The third option on fourth, fifth, sixth option comes on the left side. So this is the fourth, fifth and sixth option. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free. And I have provided the link on the video description section of each video. And you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and I'm going to insert image which I've downloaded from unsplash.com. So let me just paste the image here. So this is the image of the light bulb and make sure to align center, align middle. Then the next thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to change the background as per the background which is the black here. For that, go to the format background, color, use the eyedropper and you can just click on the background of this bulb. So you can see here the bulb the background has been changed all right so the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to add a, a a light effect here okay for that go to insert shapes from the lines i'm going to choose the freeform shape and i'm going to click exactly on this one you can see here even if this goes outside here and there doesn't matter double click this one shape outline i'm going to make it a white color then you have to go to the effects under the glow color i'm going to choose the white all right and then increase the size so you can see here the size has been increased and i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and i'm going to move this one aside here and this one color i'm going to choose a kind of a light yellow color okay and then let me just increase the size of this one and i'm going to place it exactly on top of this so let me just put it correctly this one and then this also has to go on top of that and maybe you can just send this to back all right so let it be like that that looks good so once this is done the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to add the option so first of all i'm going to insert one oval shape go to insert shapes from the basic shapes, I'm going to select the oval shape, draw the oval shape by holding the shift key, maybe this much size, and make sure that this is exactly on the bulb. All right, then shape outline, I'm going to make it white, shape fill, I'm going to make it no fill. And if you want to increase the weight of the borderline, you can just increase it. All right, the next thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to add uh, some smaller options for the details. Again, I'm going to insert one oval shape the small oval shape here by holding the shift key shape outline i'm going to make it a light yellow shape fill i'm going to make it no fill and shape outline i'm going to make it dotted one it looks something like this and then you can insert the icons here so go to insert icons and i'm going to insert any icon depending on the requirements so here in this case i'm going to choose some a random icon so maybe i'm going to use this one click insert bring it here i'm going to give the same color which is the light yellow and i'm going to make the height and width as 0.5 and put it exactly in the center of this oval shape and make sure to group this press ctrl g to group it and i'm going to move it a bit closer to the bulb the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to add a connection from here from this white oval shape to this one okay before that one let me just add uh, this uh, another five more options so let me just hold the control shift key and drag it to the right you can see here so i drag it to the left all right and again you have to just adjust it properly all right then i'm going to select both of this hold the control shift key add two more at the bottom and two more here so total i have added six options and if you want to change the icons you simply go select the icons go to the graphic format change graphics from icons 
you can just choose any icon here so let me just choose this one and insert so you can see here it's inserted uh, let me just go and select the third option graphic format change graphics from icons and I'm going to choose a different maybe this one and click insert so you can see here it has added here so the next thing which I'm going to do is to connect this one to connect that one go to insert shapes from the lines I'm going to choose a freeform shape where I'm going to click here one one here and hold the shift key for the straight line till this one and double click shape outline I'm going to make it white or if you want you can just make it yellow color also whichever color which you feel so let me just make it white only all right and if you want the outer line this also you can make it white and only you can keep this as a uh, light yellow but depending on the requirement you can just change it so now I'm going to hold the control shift key move the other side rotate I'm going to make it flip horizontal all right and this is not closed enough I mean this is somewhat close here so I have to just move it to fit this one you can see here all right the next thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the second one go to insert shapes and lines freeform shape and from here click here and hold the shift key for the straight line and double click it again white color press ctrl d or you can just insert a new one that will be better again freeform shape which goes from here this till here and again hold the shift key for the straight line and double click and the same thing so now let me just copy this one to the other side press ctrl d to duplicate rotate i'm going to make it flip horizontal and i'm going to place it here all right just make sure that it is properly aligned all right then comes this one press ctrl d rotate flip horizontal and i'm going to put it here right so you can see here i've added six options and then you can add some title here go to insert text box i'm going to say title you can use any color maybe orange color i'm going to use increase the size and put it in the center then add some detailed text here so go to insert text box equals lorem within bracket one and i'm going to give the color as light yellow and i don't want this much large text so i'm going to delete some of the text reduce the font size and i'm going to place it here hold the control shift key bring it down hold the control shift key bring it down then select all these three options the text hold the control shift key and drag it to the left side your design is done the last part you can do is the animation so let me just go to the animations enable the animation pane first of all i'm going to select this uh, kind of let me just move it here it's one here okay you can see here and one more here all right i'm going to select both this one and i'm going to add animation or i can make it fade okay it comes something like this so let me just put this one to its original place all right and this one here all right so now if i play it comes something like this all right the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to select this text and this oval shape all right and then add animation more entrance effects make it basic zoom and click ok and this should happen after previous so if i play it comes something like this then these lines i'm going to use the wipe animation wipe animation it should always start from left and then this one i'm going to add animation that is basic zoom click ok and this one add animation more entrance effects stretch click ok and effect option choose from the left and all those things should happen this one should happen after previous this should happen after previous all right so let me just play now when i click the light comes title then 
these options okay similarly i can just simply use the animation painter select this line click on animation painter click on this line so animation copied here same thing click on this again where you want to copy the animation on that particular object you need to click and then copied so here also same thing so you can just copy the same thing here as well and again let me just copy it here and then i'm going to copy it here all right the same thing i'm going to apply animation painter on this particular the only thing is the line effect should come from the right okay not from the left so now i'm going to copy this one here and this also i'm going to copy again the stretch should not be from the left it should be from the right okay the same thing i can just simply select this one copy sorry let me just do it once again you can just copy this animation painter and just copy it here okay so let me just do from here to here because it is not allowing me to do that one because it's copying the it's overlapping that's the reason okay and then i'm going to select this click it here this like that all right and this also let me just play now one option i've done so the first one it comes then the second one the third fourth option fifth option likewise you can copy the same animation effect for the sixth 